It's week 12. Let's get to reading. Day 79. Job 28 and 29. Surely there is a mine for silver and a place for gold that they refine. Iron is taken out of the earth and copper is smelted from ore. Man puts an end to darkness and searches out to the farthest limit, the ore in gloom and deep darkness. He opens shafts in a valley away from where anyone lives. They are forgotten by travelers. They hang in the air far away from mankind. They swing to and fro. As for the earth, out of it comes bread, but underneath it is turned up as by fire. Its stones are the place of sapphires and it has dust of gold. That path no bird of prey knows and the falcon's eye has not seen it. The proud beasts have not trodden it. The lion has not passed over it. Man puts his hand to the flinty rock and overturns mountains by the roots. He cuts out channels in the rocks and his eye sees every precious thing. He dams up the streams so that they do not trickle, and the thing that is hidden he brings out to light. But where shall wisdom be found, and where is the place of understanding? Man does not know its worth, and it is not found in the land of the living. The deep says, it is not in me, and the sea says, it is not with me. It cannot be bought for gold, and silver cannot be weighed as its price. It cannot be valued in the gold of Ophir, in precious onyx or sapphire. Gold and glass cannot equal it, nor can it be exchanged for jewels of fine gold. No mention shall be made of coral or of crystal. The price of wisdom is above pearls. The topaz of Ethiopia cannot equal it, nor can it be valued in pure gold. From where then does wisdom come, and where is the place of understanding? It is hidden from the eyes of all living, and concealed from the birds of the air, Abaddon and death safe. We have heard a rumor of it with our ears. God understands the way to it, and he knows its place, for he looks to the ends of the earth and sees everything under the heavens. When he gave to the wind its weight and appointed the waters by measure, when he made a decree for the rain and a wave of lightning of the thunder, then he saw it and declared it. He established it and searched it out. And he said to man, Behold the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. And to turn away from evil is understanding. And Job again took up his discourse and said, Oh, that I were as in the months of old, as in the days when God watched over me, when his lamp shone upon my head, and by his light I walked through darkness, as I was in my prime, when the friendship of God was upon my tent, when the Almighty was yet with me when my children were all around me, when my steps were washed with butter and the rock poured out for me streams of oil. When I went out to the gate of the city, when I prepared my seat in the square, the young men saw me and withdrew, and the aged rose and stood. The princes refrained from talking and laid their hand on their mouth. The voice of the nobles was hushed and their tongues stuck to the roof of their mouth. When the ear heard, it called me blessed, and when the eye saw it, it approved. But I delivered the poor who cried for help, and the fatherless who had none to help him. The blessing of him who was about to perish came upon me, and I caused the widow's heart to sing for joy. I put on righteousness, and it clothed me. My justice was like a robe and a turban. I was eyes to the blind and feet to the lame. I was a father to the needy, and I searched out the cause of him who I did not know. I broke the fangs of the unrighteous and made him drop his prey from his teeth. Then I thought, I shall die in my nest, and I shall multiply my days as the sand. My roots spread out to the waters with the dew all night on my branches, my glory fresh with me, and my bow ever new in my hand. Men listened to me and waited and kept silence for my counsel. After I spoke, they did not speak again, and my word dropped upon them. They waited for me as for the rain, and they opened their mouths as for the spring rain. I smiled on them when they had no confidence, and the light of my face they did not cast down. I chose their way and sat as chief, and I lived like a king among his troops, like one who comforts mourners. 
Proverbs 20. Wine is a mocker, strong drink a brawler, and whoever is led astray by it is not wise. The terror of a king is like the growling of a lion, whoever provokes him to anger forfeits his life. It's an honor for a man to keep aloof from strife, but every fool will be quarreling. The sluggard does not plow in the autumn. He will seek at harvest and have nothing. The purpose in a man's heart is like deep water, but a man of understanding will draw it out. Many a man proclaims his own steadfast love, but a faithful man, who can find? The righteous who walks in his integrity, blessed are his children after him. A king who sits on the throne of judgment winnows all evil with his eyes. Who can say, I have made my heart pure, I am clean from sin? Unequal weights and unequal measures are both alike an abomination to the Lord. Even a child makes himself known by his acts, by whether his conduct is pure and upright. The hearing ear and the seeing eye, the Lord has made them both. Love not sleep, lest you come to poverty. Open your eyes and you will have plenty of bread. Bad, bad, says the buyer, but then he goes away and he boasts. I'm going to say that whole sentence again. Bad, bad, says the buyer, but when he goes away, then he boasts. There is gold and abundance of costly stones, but the lips of knowledge are a precious jewel. Take a man's garment when he has put up security for a stranger, and hold it in pledge when he puts up security for foreigners. Bread gained by deceit is sweet to a man, but afterward his mouth will be full of gravel. Plans are established by counsel, by wise guidance, waged war. Whoever goes about slandering reveals secrets, therefore do not associate with a simple babbler. If one curses his father or his mother, his lamp will be put out in utter darkness. An inheritance gained hastily in the beginning will not be blessed in the end. Do not say, I will repay evil. Wait for the Lord and he will deliver you. Unequal weights are an abomination to the Lord, and false scales are not good. A man's steps are from the Lord. How then can a man understand his way? It is a snare to say rashly, it is holy and to reflect only after making vows. A wise king winnows the wicked and drives the wheel over them. The spirit of man is the lamp of the Lord, searching all his innermost parts. Steadfast love and faithfulness preserve the king, and by steadfast love his throne is upheld. The glory of young men is their strength, but the splendor of old men is their gray hair. Blows that wound cleanse away evil. Strokes make clean the innermost parts and as always thank you for being here today and hit the subscribe button right there and click the bell make sure to hit that like button too and i will see you tomorrow god bless you'll carry me out of the storm i'm standing at the crossroads i'm lost without a clue Need a big pink neon sign to show me what to do. I thank you, Lord. It glorifies you when you're the only answer. I praise you, Lord, for holding what's too much for me. And I'm amazed by you, Lord, because nothing's too big and nothing's too small to lay at your feet. I want to thank you, Lord, for believing in.